What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mousepad Gaming, and welcome to another legendary video. Today's video is on the Garcia. So the Garcia is dropped by Chonk Stomp, who is in the Floodmore Basin. So there's two ways to farm Chunk Stomp. I'll show you both in this video. So the first way to get there, which is the best way to get there, is you're going to want to select Eden 6 and select Anvil. And there's only one spawn point there, so basically you're just going to spawn in right here. So once you spawn in, you're just going to turn around and go through this door that says Floodmore Basin. So this is the local map for the Floodmore Basin, so you're going to spawn right through that door and just follow the cursor from my mouse. It's super easy to get there, super simple. There are some enemies in the way, but that's not too bad. There's just one thing you're going to want to make sure. Every time you run through here, you're going to want to make sure that that checkpoint is active. If not, you're going to have some issues. But anyway, you're just going to run all the way through this. Try your best to avoid enemies or don't. It's really up to you. But I feel like just avoiding enemies will make it a lot easier to get to Chunk Stomp and farm the legendary Garcia. So Chunk Stomp spawns right there. And he's super easy to kill. There's nothing too difficult about this boss. He's just basically just shoot him a bunch of times and he dies. There's no health skating. There's no disappearing. Just straight up shoot him in the face and he dies. So he didn't drop the legendary shotgun right there. But that's okay because we're just going to show you the second way how to get there. Alright, the second way you can get to Chunk Stomp is select the Alliance Fast Travel Station on Floodmore Basin and just follow my current mouse cursor. And at some point we're going to get to a new station, new U station, which is right here. So we're going to make sure that you select that. By select, I mean you run past it and it becomes active because if it's not active, you're going to be spawning all the way at the beginning at the Alliance Fast Travel Station. But anyways, here I am in a vehicle showing you how to get there. It's super easy to get here. So it's not much difference between the Anvil run and the Alliance run. However, doing the Anvil is slightly faster, but that's only on your first run. On your second run and third run, they're, they are exactly the same because you spawn at the same point after that. But anyways, just run through the enemies, like I said. Just keep on running. Just running, 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 running. And you're going to get to Chunk Stomp right here. So like I said, the first time that we're here, just basically shoot them in the face. Shoot them anywhere. Don't worry about it, he doesn't health gate or disappear, so this makes his farm a lot easier than some of the bosses and mini bosses in this game that like disappear and health gate. But anyways, BAM! There is our lovely legendary shotgun called the Garcia made by Jacob. So anyways, we're gonna pick that bad boy up. We're gonna do some test firing. So what's nice about this shotgun is it's got 20 round magazines. However, it shoots two bullets per shot, so technically you get 10 shots per magazine, but if you are black and you get some crits you're gonna end up having more than 10 shots in the magazine so this gun is quite useful of course because of jake because every time you score a critical hit those pelts are just gonna go whizzing by and hit other enemies which is super sweet but anyways here i am in this circle of slaughter at the slaughter star 3000 if you guys are wondering the stats that are underneath the map is a current mayhem mode stats for the enemies so if you guys have any questions about that that is what that is. But anyways, let's test out this gun. As you can see, it's killing enemies. This is not bad. Not bad. It's already got a five in my books with killing these enemies. Uh, so yeah, let's just kill a couple more enemies. And what do I give this shotgun? Well, I give it an eight. So let's start off with the positives and why it gets an eight. The first positive, it's got a 20 round magazine. So technically, it's a 10 round magazine because it shoots two pellets per shot. So if you want to call it 10 round magazine or 20, it's really up to you. It's also got an excellent fire rate for a Jacob's shotgun. So you're just going to go like pow, 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 pow. Shoot like 10 enemies and have to reload. And what's nice is it reloads a whole magazine and not clips or shells or whatever you want to call it. It's also got quite good accuracy. And later in this clip, I'm actually trying to snipe with this shotgun. It wasn't as good, but... It's better than most shotguns that shoot pellets. Also, it's got quite good damage as well. And now, the negatives. So there's not very much negatives for the shotgun. I see maybe like two at most. The one is, is that it shoots two pellets per shot instead of one. So yeah, you're going to run out of ammo 
twice as fast, but for a shotgun, you still had a lot of bullets. That's over like a hundred shots if you maxed out your shotgun SDU. So that's still quite a lot. And then if you're scrounging and picking up ammo, you're literally still not going to run out of ammo in this gun. And the last negative, which isn't really much of a negative because it's a Jacobs, but you can consider it a negative if you like to use elemental damage, that this shotgun doesn't come in an element. So if you're looking for an elemental shotgun, obviously a Jacobs shotgun isn't going to be a good choice for you because, first of all, we're rarely do Jacobs shotguns come in elements. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this gun in the comments down below. Also, let me know what gun should I do next. Just remember that the gun that you want has to be farmable from a boss since I want a suitable loot source for an enemy rather than a loot tank or a chest or whatever. But anyways, hit the like button if you liked. If we hit more than 10 likes in the first 24 hours of this video going live, I will upload a bonus video for you guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more legendary videos and also some Borderlands tips and tricks. Also, don't forget to check out my other social media accounts such as Twitter, Instagram, my Twitch where I stream between one to two times a week, and my Discord where you can find other crazy and awesome Borderlands fans and also check out my community on Discord. All those links are in the description down below. So I hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace.